Now, according to the Earth curvature calculator, it gives you a direct curvature, a direct answer for the curvature of the Earth for any amount of distance, big and small. It's uh, official narrative says that there's eight inches of curvature per mile squared. That's the mile times itself, then times the eight inches to give you the exact curvature of the Earth. So at three miles, you should have 72 inches of curvature. That's six feet. I'm not six feet tall. I'm only 70 inches tall. You can see me from head to toe when you look at me from three miles. You shouldn't be able to see me. My head should be under two inches of curvature. That's small. Big, you've got places like the Chicago City skyline on one side of Lake Michigan, Granier State Park on the other, 62 miles of Lake Michigan in between them. The tallest building of the Chicago City skyline should be under 600 feet of curvature, yet you can see it in its entirety from Granier State Park. And the news people will try and tell you that it's a mirage. Well, the thing is, is you see it straight up and down. It's not waving. All mirages, even superior mirages, come in upside down because there is no corrective lens to correct the inversion that happens. So it's going to be upside down and never pass the Fata Morgana line. That's the wavy line that you see happening in, in a mirage, even a superior mirage, the Fata Morgana line. So when you're looking at the Chicago City skyline from top to bottom, right side up, you are not looking at a mirage, you're not looking at a superior mirage, you are looking at the Chicago City skyline from 62 miles away, where by the Earth's curvature calculator, the tallest building of that skyline should be under 600 feet of curvature. You shouldn't be able to see any of it. And that's uh, that's one example. There's quite a few of them. Pilots that leave LAX when they get out on the Pacific and start flying up the coast, they can see the Hawaiian Islands dotted some 300 miles up. That would be really impossible if we were on a sphere that was dictated by spherical geometry. Um... Fact of the matter is, there is no curvature to be detected anywhere. You ask the great engineers that supposedly built the, the, the bridges and the canals and what have you of the Earth, how did they take in consideration the curvature of the Earth to do these structures, these, these great feats? I said they, they pretty much laughed and said they, they didn't do anything to take into consideration the curvature because there isn't any curvature of the Earth. 